Hello everyone, I hope you're all fit and well. It's Stephen Clark and friends back again. A light-hearted look at Thailand and the surrounding areas of Southeast Asia. The Thai Immigration Police arrest two more undesirables. Then we have baby boom. People are getting paid to have children in Thailand now. South Korea's president visits Thailand for the first time to sign trade agreements. Things you only know if you're an immigration officer. But first up, Hoi Hin to sterilize 2,000 oversexed monkeys. Oh, nuts! Hoi Hin to sterilize 2,000 wild Thai monkeys. The city will spend 1.2 million baht sterilizing 2,000 macaque monkeys. And the weapon of choice? The snip. Each monkey will appear in front of a judge. For those that have not been sexy, they'll be set free. And those who have been, will be sentenced to off with these nuts. Ah, <laughs> uh, just kidding, that's not gonna happen. Hoi Hin is launching a mass sterilization of monkeys in an effort to manage and control their growth and population. The monkeys at Katao Kapied, a mountain along the sea resort of Hoi Hin, there are over 2,000 monkeys roaming free near tourist attractions in the seaside getaway town of Hoi Hin. The monkeys intimidate tourists, steal food from visitors and restaurants and cause damage to houses. The city of Hoi Hin said the population of 3,000 Makai monkeys is too large and they are causing chaos around the community because of their mischievous behaviour and sexual activities. So they have decided to sterilise the monkeys and install containment cages in areas being taken over by the monkeys. This will include Monkey Walking Street. Ah, <laughs> uh, just kidding, that's not going to happen. It is said that despite sterilizing 600 monkeys in the past two years, the population is still increasing. Hmm. Trying to stop monkeys from having sex is like trying to stop a freight train. <laughs> it's important to repeat the sterilization program regularly to ensure numbers don't get out of control. It costs 1,000 Thai baht to sterilize one monkey. Hoi Hin City will also ask tourists to only feed monkeys at designated spots to maintain a clean and hygienic environment. The government's plan is to make In Lak Bai Hill a tourist destination for checking out views and feeding monkeys. However, it's a bit different feeding wild monkeys and feeding those held in cages, don't you think? A monkey's roaming around with no nuts. <laughs> Thai Immigration Police have detained two more people with a biometric system traveling through to Winnipeg Airport. One arrested, a Syrian man, was on a fake United Arab Emirate passport. The 18-year-old Syrian man was on his way to London and had a layover at Sir Winnipeg Airport, Bangkok. He told immigration officials he was on his way to London to seek asylum. But strangely enough, he had an airline ticket from London to Germany. The Syrian man said he paid 1500 US dollars for the fake Arab Emirate passport which was sent to him by his brother in Lebanon. Biometric system in Sawinapum Airport detected the false passport, so immigration officials were able to detain the man and inquire about the fake passport. In a separate incident, a Finnish man was detained after attempting to leave Thailand after allegedly beating up his Thai woman. After the woman was assaulted, she filled in a police report at Shambhali Province Police Station. An alert was sent out to every immigration checkpoint through Throughout Thailand. The man was arrested at Sawinapum Airport trying to leave the country. The Finnish man may face a significant period of detention before his case comes to trial. Thailand is bringing in the baby bonus. Soon as you get pregnant, you will get 3,000 baht per month for nine months. When you have the baby, you will get a one off payment of 10,000 baht. You will then be paid 2,000 baht per month for some time. The total will come to 181,000 baht. I personally don't believe it's going to work or help, as when it's time for the baby to go to school, it's going to cost lots more. Thank you.
South Korea's president visiting Thailand for the first time to sign a trade agreement. Prime Minister Priyat and his wife Narapon Priyat have welcomed South Korea's President Moon and his wife Kim. South Korea's President Moon is paying an official visit to Thailand and has held talks with the Thai Prime Minister and Defence Minister. Together they signed six agreements at Government House. This was President Moon's first visit to Thailand since assuming his post in May 2017 and the first visit by any South Korean president in seven years. The aim of the visit is to strengthen the strategic partnership with Thailand in accordance with Seoul's new Southern policy by which it seeks more interaction with all countries in Southern Asia and cooperation with ASEAN. Thailand and South Korea maintain a joint strategic partnership in line with South Korea's new Southern policy and Thailand's four policy. The South Korean President and the Thai Prime Minister were scheduled to sign six agreements and a memorandum of understanding today during Moon's visit. I hope it works out well for Thailand and South Korea and stop their dependence on China. Things you only know if you're an immigration officer. Number one, your proof of identification. When you enter the kingdom, you will put through a lot of identification processes. Firstly, the passport's verified and the person standing in front of the immigration officer is a thorough looking up and down to make sure you are the person in the photo on the passport. It does occur that people hand over passports and they are not the person in the photo. The immigration officer will look straight at the ears of this person and the photo. Everybody's ears are unique, especially those that have two of them. Check your own, there's one on each side. Same goes for the lips and the iris in the eye. I think they call them lucky lips. Lucky lips are never kissed. Oh, I won't break into a song. If there is any doubt, the passport can be verified in a laboratory that there is at every major Thailand airport. And they can soon find out if they're your ears or someone else's. Does the blacklist exist? Well, it does. When you're leaving your airport, wherever you are in whatever country, there's a list there. When you board the plane, they'll say whether you're allowed back in Thailand or not. And if you're not allowed back in Thailand, they won't let you board the plane. Do you know that? True. Where is your visa to enter Thailand? Some people arrive in Thailand and say they're, they're transiting and uh, they don't transit. They stay at, uh, at the airport and wander around trying to find a way out. They have a team to monitor people that are actually staying at the airport, uh, trying to enter Thailand illegally. They are usually detained and sent back to their place of origin. Visa overstays. And this is why immigration has launched a new measure to deal with these people. A passenger that has not stayed over 90 days will be will pay a 500 baht fine per day they have overstayed in the country. But those who have stayed over 90 days will be put on a blacklist and prevented from entering Thailand for a year. So what did you guys think of this video? There are some very interesting subjects in there. It would be great to get a discussion going in the comments below. And don't forget every Saturday and Sunday night, 5pm Thai time, Talk Back Thailand. Anyhow, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon.